Okay, a few um, closing remarks on my three days of experiments. Now it's day four and I'm formally done with these experiments for this period during my writing a thesis. I might have time to go back to it, but in any case, this was a like a closed uh, experimental part and I would like to finish off by adding a few remarks about method. So here it goes. Uh, the method that I've developed, which is it's preliminary, it's just for now, is, uh, goes the following way. First, there is a material. And the material can be all kinds of formats like uh, audio, video, field notes, and so on. And this material is divided according to uh, different parameters, what is most important in the field. And this is of course a very, it's an analytical choice. So this material is filtered through uh, different kinds of combinations of parameters. Like in my case I used uh, three parameters, uh, adult or kit initiated was one. The second one was sitting up or sitting down or walking around. The third one was indoors or outdoors. And I used different combinations of this. And the next step is to take these, this piece of material and do a um, corporeal analysis of it. So in this case where I had uh, audio as a material, I did a video recording of my buddy doing a, an analysis of the material. So next step is to take this analysis, which is in the form of a video recording, and it might be different if it's the original material is in another in another format, like images or field notes. I don't know. I don't. I haven't thought this through. Anyway, and there from there, what happens is that I take this second degree material, and I do something different with it. In this case, I can take the video recording plus the audio that I've generated using my own voice and then um, utilizing a, a yet another uh, modality in this case I would use uh, words and from then on what happens is that what I have now is will be a description or a kind of uh, putting words on the experience of re experiencing my own second degree uh, field work and from there I can do a more traditional uh, ethnographic analysis with codes and categories and so on yep and that's it now I'm on my way to university where I'm going to write about policy, policy.